to do is I want to start going over how to start adding annotative aspects to a drawing, starting with the first thing that you should ever do when you start a drawing or start to annotate a drawing is your center marks. So I'm going to first go up, I'm going to grab my layer, I'm going to grab my center mark layer, or my center line layer, I should say, and then I'm going to go to the actual annotative tab on my ribbon bar, and then slide over here to my center mark tool. This is that new tool in 2017. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then the center mark is going to be based off the largest concentric circle. So that's the largest concentric circle for this several three circles here. And then again here and again here. Now, for our standard, we are going to extend our extensions here past the edge of the object by 0.25. Now, an easy way to do this is if you highlight all three center marks. So you have all three center marks highlighted at the same time. Right click, come down to the properties tab, select the properties, and then over here in the properties, you can see geometry and it says left extension, right extension, top extension, bottom extension. If you go ahead and type in 0.25 for the left extension, highlight it, do a control C, you can work your way down and copy and paste doing a control V in the rest of those cells and they all extend. Okay, if you were at some point needing to adjust the cross size or gap size between the, the gaps and the lines, you can do that also here. Once you have that done and they're extended, I'm going to go ahead and close out my properties, hit escape, and now my center marks are unselected. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to start talking about annotative dimensioning. And what we're going to do first is you need to understand that the dimensions are based off of a set of styles and standard styles. Okay, So from this annotative dimensioning tab, I'm going to have you guys come over here to the dimension tool. And where it says standard, I want you to pull that down. And what you see here are the base standards for AutoCAD. One says standard and the other says annotative. G-A-H-S you would not have, nor I think do you have standard W-S. Okay, the, when you pull down, you have standard and annotative. The standard is when you place a dimension, that dimension will not change in scale depending upon layout. It's going to be whatever you tell it to be. Okay, The annotative is the style that will change based upon the scale that you actually lay the object out on a piece of paper. Okay, So what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that standard is selected, which it should be, that's your default. Then I want you to just pull down or select and pull down the linear tool. And I want you to dimension from the bottom extension center mark to the bottom extension center mark. I want you to pull it down and I want you to drop it. This is going to be a standard dimension, okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to do is I want you to go up and I want you to change the style so that annotative is selected. And I want you to do the same thing again. And go ahead and select that same point, the same point. What just came up here for me, the select annotative scale, it says you are creating an annotative object. Set the annotative scale to the scale at which the annotation is intended to display. Now this is important. What this is saying is do you expect to lay this out on your title block scaled one to one? Or are you expecting to lay this out on your title block at a different scale? Okay. Right now, I'm going to assume that this is going to be one to one, and I'm going to say okay. If you think that you're going to change the scale, there's a small scale button right down here that you can change the scale with. Okay, but we're not going to play with that. So for now, I'm going to grab my linear tool. I'm going to grab from point to point the exact same dimension I just placed. Come down and drop it here. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to get in and we're going to start adjusting the styles that drive these standard dimension styles. So to do that, what we're going to do is there's a small little arrow down here in the bottom corner of this ribbon bar. See the little arrow? When I sit over it, it comes up with dimension style. Select that little arrow. And now you have the dimension style manager. Okay. What I 
I want you to do is that we're going to first go to the one that says standard. Select standard over here in the window. And we're going to come over here. We're going to hit modify. I'm going to click on modify. Once I do that, I have now all my tabs and I can go in and adjust my dimensions. Now once we do this once, probably never going to have to go back in and adjust it. But I want you to know how to do it. Okay. So we have lines, we have symbols, there's text, there's fit. What I want you to do is be on the text tab. And on the text tab, you're going to come down to where it says text height. And the text height in default is 0.18. Highlight that and change it to be 0.125. Then, after you do that, go over to the primary units tab. And where it says precision, and you have four decimal places, go ahead and make it two decimal places. And when you do that, once you hit that button, I want you to take note of what happens in this window. This is a little preview window of what it's going to look like after it's applied. And AutoCAD's giving you this preview just so you have a better idea. Okay. So once that's done, we've set those two things, I want you to come down here and hit OK. And you can come up to here, and we're going to go in and we're going to play with the annotative. So we're going to go up to the annotative scale, select that, slide over to the modify tab, hit modify. And we're going to do the same thing. Go into text, make sure your text height is 0.125. Then go to primary units, make sure your precision is two decimal places. Okay. And then after you do that, come down and hit OK. And then you can hit Close. And those two dimensions should be almost identical, or they should be identical at this point. OK? All right. This is where we get into the magic. I want you to go to a Layout tab. And I want to make sure that you can place this onto it. It doesn't have to be a title block. All it has to do is be a, a viewport. And I, I want you to be able to scale this drawing so that it is scaled one to one. And watch what I'm doing here. When I actually scale this one to one, I'm going to have a second dimension pop up. That second dimension pops up because that second dimension will only be shown when I'm at scale one to one. Because when I placed it as an annotative dimension, it is based in a one-to-one -one dimension scale. When I leave one-to-one -one or go to another scale, it disappears. Because it will no longer be the proper size. So if I go to one-to-one, -to -one, it shows up. Okay, model space. When you mouse over a dimension, now don't click on it. When you mouse over a dimension, do you see that little scale symbol pop up? If I mouse over this one, there's no scale symbol. If I mouse over this one, there's a scale symbol. Why is there a scale symbol over this one and not this one? This is annotated. This is not. When I lay this out, again, I go to my layout at 1 to 1, they both show up. When I take this thing to another scale, 1 to 2, the bottom one will disappear. If we want the bottom one to show up at 1 to 2, what we need to do is in model space, we select the annotative dimension, we right click, and we go up to where it says annotative object scale. Slide over to where it says add delete scales. Select that. Here we're going to add 1 to 2. Because I think I'm going to need to lay out my drawing at 1 to 2 to fit on my sheet. And then I'm going to take 1 to 1 and delete 1 to 1. And I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to come back and go to my layout. And now I can see at 1 to 2 I see my dimension. If I take this thing to 1 to 1, Dimension disappeared because it's not set to one to one. It's set one to two.